Hey there, welcome to another radio related video and this is another video in our part in our series of uh, tuning shortwave 1 MHz at a time explaining what we can hear on each MHz segment of the shortwave band. This is the video for 24 MHz. So what can we hear at 24 MHz? What types of signals could be there? Uh, 24 MHz being once again mostly a daytime band uh, sunrise to sunset but don't you know count that as being an absolute fact you probably can listen to some signals even at the evening or night time if conditions are right sometimes Perlic e skip for example can give conditions that are interesting uh, anytime so uh, even if it's not daytime local, uh, tune around and take a listen to what type of signals. And uh, hey, report it here in the, in the comment sections and uh, tell us what you hear in your part of the world. So 24 megahertz is uh, most part of 24 megahertz is pretty much utility type signals. There's not an official, well, probably there's an official band segment here somewhere but I would say that basically 24 megahertz is mostly in the utility type signals but there's a little amateur radio band called a 12 meter band just at the top of this uh, 24 megahertz segment so let's tune around and see if we hear any signals Nothing much here. There's a signal here. This type of signal could have been something like uh, fishing boats. This is what I mean when I say that, you know, tune around the bands because you never know where you can hear signals and hear something. And that was an example, there was something here. What I basically do, usually, now I'm doing a video, I'm not gonna do it, but I would basically put put my radio there and try to take a listen and try to ID any signals. And here's the start of the 12 meter, I believe it starts there, I'm not sure, but it's around here. This is the 12 meter amateur radio band, divided into all types of signals, so from CW signals at the bottom, uh, maybe some digital part and some upper sideband signals afterwards. And here we hear lots of CWs, so CW signals. Here's a digital signal. A little changing tone there is a uh, amateur radio digital mode and 
This is BPSK31. It's another digital mode. And at the end of the band, well, you usually have upper sideband amateur radio signals. They don't seem to have many amateur radios at this time. And this is basically where it stops the amateur radio band for uh, 12 meters and the rest of the 10 megahertz, 10 kilohertz left, um, probably utility signals. So this is 24 megahertz, uh, mostly utility with the little 12 meter amateur radio band portion on 24890 to 24990. So you can have a listen there. And uh, like as you can see, signals pop up anywhere and sometimes you don't know what you're listening to, but it's worth just tuning around and seeing all types of signals shortwave has to offer. So hope you enjoyed this series of videos and uh, hey, subscribe to our channel, eh? uh, lots of radio videos and hundreds more coming up. This is the official channel, it's going to stay here. I had some problems with channels as some of you might know, and but this one is here to stay. So, thanks for watching and 73s.